Hi, in today's video, we're going to talk about why Syntonix is actually beneficial to be used for patients, even if they have no light perception and are blind. Before I go into that, let's tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. We can still help. <laughs> go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and there's several things that you can do there. You can take a questionnaire. You can also obviously read some of our success stories and some information on that page. And lastly, if you're ready to take the next step to improving your vision, you'll want to schedule a consultation. So there's a consultation button right on our website. Now let's go into this information that I have talked to you about today, which is that a recent study has proven that patients who are blind, even if they've been blind for 10 years or longer, which would technically mean that they are not able to even perceive light at this level of blindness, but they actually were in this study, which is kind of interesting. So this study is written about in the Journal of Cognitive Neurosciences. It's also written in, about in Science Daily. And these articles came about within about a month or so of one another. And the date on this though, wow, all the way back to 2013. So this is not new information, even though I said it's kind of new, but many of you probably have not heard about this. So what we know about this is even if the person is not able to perceive light or see images, and that would normally declare them as being blind, they still have photoreceptors within the retina that are processing light and they can detect light. And according to this study, which was small, this um, individual, the scientist who do this study, through I think the University of Montreal. And what he found was with three patients that he worked with who had been blind for 10 years or longer, he put them to the test and he showed them some lights and he had them do some certain responses during the test. Um, so it's really, really interesting, but all three participants have been declared totally blind for at least 10 years. Blue light was especially effective at inducing a neuro or brain response. And so what they found out is that all of the patients were able to detect blue light and they found distinct information about how the brain was active with higher levels of cognitive function during the time that the brain was being stimulated with the blue light. Now, they don't mention other forms of light, but this is the reason why we continue to suggest that syntonics is helpful for people who have actually been declared blind. So even if a person has only light perception or no light perception, we do personally have cases ourselves that we have been working with of individuals who went from no light perception in complete and utter darkness to being able to see light perception, shapes, outlines, colors, things in their surroundings so that they can ambulate and move around in the world. And then patients who have light perception and maybe they're able to see some distinct outlines, shapes, colors, we have been able to have a wide variety of sex success with those individuals. And it depends greatly on a lot of factors, but some individuals we've taken them to seeing better to where they're able to move around in the world and their environment and do, you know, and perform better. And other individuals, we have some amazing success like We've gotten them down to 2050 after an incidence of losing their eyesight. So each case is unique and obviously it takes a um, specific approach on our end and looking at how are we going to address them. Now it's just not about syntonics because that name gets tossed around an awful lot, but this is a highly specialized um, neuro integrative program using light therapy in order to trigger the brain to have a specific response. And that's what we have been successful with. This is a program that I developed, so it's a specific pro protocol to our clinic. Um, but let's go back and look into just a little bit more, because I think there was one other thing I wanted to really be able to highlight here with this information from this study. So really what they found out was that uh, now they want to look at a larger study based on a higher volume of individuals. Um, one other thing to highlight in here that they did functional MRIs to see what happened to the brain while lights were being flashed in their eyes. So remember, these are individuals who really can't see light, or at least they don't perceive light, but their brain did perceive the light, even if they physically don't realize that they could see a light. 
And so while the brain did perceive that, um, they noted there are lots of different activities within the brain that will turn were turned on by the triggering of the blue lights and other lights that they use. So again, this is one of the reasons why we recommend that patients who have lost their vision, depending on what they've lost it from, uh, maybe it's a significant traumatic brain injury, maybe it's a stroke, maybe it was a recent or acute onset type of condition, or maybe it was something that was chronic and it happened a long time ago. We still would recommend if, if a person is wanting to try to restore their sight, to try and do something about it. Will everybody have success? Not necessarily. But for those who do, obviously it's more than dramatic because it changes their whole life to be able to gain some of their vision back. And for us, we've had, again, some really amazing results with patients, helping them to go from no light perception and total darkness to being able to see and move around in their environments again. And for other individuals, it's been helping them go from that, like light perception and moving around in their environments, okay, but to be able to regain a lot of their function back and even one individual gaining back the ability to see as much as 2050. So if this is something that interests you, you yourself or someone that you know has lost significant amount of vision, please contact us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. And if you're ready to take that next step, just schedule a consultation. Literally, you have nothing to lose, but you might have a lot to gain. And so it's always worth trying to see what we can do to help restore some vision. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And if you know someone that would benefit from this, please pass it on. Thank you.